several protest leaders and supporters involved in today's march stand your ground and push back against democracy have been arrested in Port of Spain. Omar Abdullah, they blocked up activist Gary Aboud, and then they tried to lock up myself and I yeah, we'll be back here. So if we're moving forward, yeah, 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 we're, right we're moving forward to be arrested. Right a large number of guard and emergency branch officers arrived on site and warned the protesters that they would be arrested if they refused to disperse. Seen in the footage being detained by the police were fishermen and friends of the sea Gari Abud. People attended the march in support of First Wave Movement, whose walk began at Point Fortin Hospital on Saturday, went through San Fernando and Central Trinidad to the Red House and ended in Queen's Park, Savannah. Over the weekend, political activist Victor Roberts was seen accompanied by former Prime Minister Mrs. Kamala Pesad Bissessa. For weeks, activists have been calling for people to stand your ground and push back against government policies. Several people showed up at the Savannah without affiliation with any group but decided to join. The movement underlines that our government has lost all self-respect by failing to lead with integrity, equality, fairness and justice and in the interest of our people and in doing so have disrespected their office. As a result, their failure to deliver has disrespected us and we in turn have disrespected ourselves. We have lost self-respect by accepting incompetence over good governance. They added that with our government's slogan, vaccinate to operate, and with the institutionalized segregation and bullying, they've generated apartheid in places of worship, recreation, employment, and learning institutions, division among families, and a loss of fellowship and fulfillment among individuals. As a result of the massive job losses, our children are hungry and vulnerable and many lack a sense of purpose after the disruption of their education. The movement further stated, due to the political interference in health policy and the overriding of the chemistry, food and drug department, our health sector has been weaponized. Over 1,900 unexplained deaths have been reported in the six months following the implementation of these experimental injections. It further stated that our government has forced our children to take these injections, enrolling them as guinea pigs in the largest direct-to-human clinical trials, and violating all ethics, human rights, and children's rights. Avalon Williams, AEM's report.